Introduction In order the better to comprehend the deep and vital truths contained in the within message, you are urged to approach each reading of it with quiet and open mind. Still the intellect and invite your soul to do the teaching. Read but a sentence at a time and do not pass to the next until something within you responds to the truth therein and points out clearly the meaning for you. More than all, try to realize that the I speaking throughout the message is the spirit within, your own soul, the impersonal self, the real you, the same self that in other moments of quiet points out to you your mistakes, your follies, your weaknesses, and is ever chiding and aiding you to live up to its ideals, which it continually holds before your mental gaze. It was to such a quiet mind as this that the within message came during months filled with an intense yearning for the guidance of the Spirit and the opportunity to serve the loving Father who had been found to be ever-present and always ready to bless those of His children who loved Him enough to make Him first in their hearts and lives. The help and guidance thus received is passed on to you, for the wise and loving teaching is so unusual and so wholly impersonal that it will apply equally well to everyone who is ready to receive it. The great blessings of the message is that if you are ready, the I speaking herein will continue to speak direct to you from out your own heart after you lay aside the book and in so intimate and convincing a way that it will make clear all your problems. Be to you a fount of wisdom and strength and bring you peace health, happiness, freedom, everything your heart desires. This little book, therefore, is intended to serve as a channel or open door through which you may enter the joy of your Lord, the comforter promised by Jesus, the living expression in you of the Christ of God, the publisher. And now, chapter one of the impersonal life. I am. To you who read, I speak. To you, who through long years and much running to and fro have been eagerly seeking in books and teachings, in philosophy and religion, for you know not what, truth, happiness, freedom, God. To you whose soul is weary and discouraged and almost destitute of hope, To you who many times have obtained a glimpse of that truth, only to find when you followed and tried to reach it, that it disappeared into the beyond and was but the mirage of the desert. To you who thought you had found it in some great teacher, who was perhaps the acknowledged head of some society, fraternity, or religion, and who appeared to you to be a master, so marvelous was the wisdom he or she taught and the works he or she performed. 
only to awaken later to the realization that that master was but a human personality with faults and weaknesses and secret sins the same as you even though that personality may have been a channel through which were voiced many beautiful teachings which seem to you the highest truth and here you are soul a weary and in hungered and knowing not where to turn to you i am come and likewise to you who have begun to feel the presence of that truth within your soul and seek the confirmation of that which of late has been vaguely struggling for living for expression within yes to all you who hunger for the true bread of life i am come are you ready to partake If so, then arouse yourself. Sit up. Still your human mind and follow closely my word herein spoken. Or you will turn away disappointed once more with the aching hunger still in your heart. I Who am I? I who speak with such seeming knowledge and authority listen I am you that part of you who is and knows who knows all things and always knew and always was yes I am you your self that part of you who says i am and is i am that transcendent innermost part of you which quickens within as you read which responds to this my word which perceives its truth which recognizes all truth and discards all error wherever found not that part which has been feeding on error all these years for i am your real teacher the only real one you will ever know and the only master I your divine self I the I am of you bring to you this my message my living word as I have brought to you everything in life be it book or master poverty or riches bitter experience or love to teach you that i and i alone your own true self am the teacher for you the only teacher and the only god who is and always has been providing you not only with the bread and wine of life but with all things needed for your physical mental and spiritual growth and sustenance therefore that which appeals to you as you read is my message spoken to your outer human consciousness from within and is but a confirmation of that which the i am of you always knew within but had not yet translated in definite 
tangible terms to your outer consciousness. Likewise, all that ever appealed to you coming from some outward expression was but the confirmation of my word already spoken within and which outward expression was the avenue or means I chose at the time through which to reach and impress your human or self-consciousness. But I am not your human mind, nor its child, the intellect. They are but the expression of your being, as you are the expression of my being. They are but phases of your human personality, as you are a phase of my divine impersonality. Weigh and study these words. Rise up and free yourself from the domination of your personality with its self-inflated and self-glorifying mind and intellect now and for always. For your mind henceforth must be your servant and the intellect your slave if my word is to penetrate to your soul consciousness. I am come now to your soul consciousness which I have quickened expressly in preparation for the reception of my word. Now, if you are strong enough to bear it, if you can put aside all your private personal fancies, beliefs and opinions, which are but the rubbish you have gathered from the dumping grounds of others, if you are strong enough to cast them all away, then my word will be to you a source of endless joy and blessing. But be prepared to have this personality of yours doubt my word as you read it all along the way. For its very life is threatened, and it knows it cannot live and thrive and longer dominate your thinking, your feelings, your going and coming as of old. If you take my word into your heart and permit it there to abide. Yes, I am come to you now to make you conscious of my presence. For I have likewise prepared your human mind so that it can in measure comprehend the meaning of me. I have been with you always, but you did not know it. I have purposely led you through the wilderness of books and teachings, of religions and philosophies, keeping ever before your soul's eye the vision of the promised land, feeding you with the mana of the desert that you might remember and value and long for the bread of the Spirit. Now I have brought you to the River Jordan that separates you from your divine heritage. Now the time has come for you consciously to know me. The time has come for you to cross over into Canaan, the land of milk and honey. Are you ready? Do you want to go? Then follow this, my word, which is the ark of my covenant, and you shall go over dry shod. That's the end of chapter one of the impersonal life. I am. And uh, what a great chapter love reading over these. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll be back with chapter two. Look for us here. Help us if this helps you. 
please press the subscribe button and give us a like. This is Practice Love Media, and I'm David Flynn. God bless.